mito huu hamaziri na tupate maeneo hayo kuna nini Ladies and gentlemen of the press, good afternoon. I think it's afternoon. May we start by first of all apologizing for keeping you here for longer than we expected. But uh, it is because we were taking my brother, CS uh, Adam Duale, to briefings as he takes over this ministry. And uh, I want to start by congratulating him. First of all, on his nomination, successful voting by parliament, and on his appointment as the 11th Minister for Defense since our independence. And I want to wish him well as he takes over this docket. And I also want to thank the CDF, the Vice CDF, and all the KDF leadership for working with me for over one year that I've been at this ministry. I want to thank my colleagues, the CS, the Honorable Peter Odoyo. I want to thank the PS Ibrahim and the civilian team that we've worked with at the Ministry of Defense for over a year now. I wish them well as they get a new leader. And I'm very happy that uh, the Honorable Duale uh, is not new to me. Uh, we worked together in the 10th Parliament. We were both parliamentarians, and he's a good friend and uh, colleague. As he comes here, uh, I was just telling him, uh, I think he's lucky because uh, he, he's not very new. I think he has some military relations. As you know, uh, one of our generals who led the military uh, is uh, related to him. He has some very close connections. So he's not very new to the military. Just like my predecessor, Ambassador Dr. Monica Juma, who was also uh, related to one of the military leaders and has grown up in the military. So I want to welcome him and uh, wish him well. And as we go forward, we want to celebrate KDF as being not just the institution that leads in ensuring the territorial integrity of Kenya, but also the institution that is helping civilian authorities, especially this time of drought. As we speak, KDF is contributing greatly towards alleviating the drought situation facing uh, particularly the northern part of Kenya and other parts of our country. They have released water bowsers. They are doing dams and uh, boreholes to help alleviate the suffering Kenyans are going through during this time of drought. They have also contributed to the Big Four agenda in terms of health. We have hospitals that they have put up, beginning with a level six hospital in Kabete. We also have a level five hospital at the Memorial. And we have level four hospitals across the country, in Isiolo, in Eldred, uh, here in Kahawa, this will contribute greatly towards boosting health services in our country. And we want to thank them for this role. And it's not just in terms of health, also in manufacturing. As you know, we have a shipyard. As Kenya, we are able to manufacture our own ships. And it's a great uh, stride we have made in manufacturing and industrialization of our country, as well as contributing to the food security of our country. So we want to wish them well as they receive a new uh, leader. 
and uh, their role goes beyond, as I say, the traditional role of security. We'd like to see them do more to contribute to our national development. As I live, I want to wish them well, wish their families well, and also wish those who are outside our borders, serving in Somalia, those who are serving in DRC and other missions, peace support missions, uh, beyond our borders. We wish them well, and I wish to welcome my brother to come and uh, now officially take over, as I have handed over, and uh, say a few words before we release you. Thank you very much, and God bless you. Karib, Karib. Thank you, uh, C.S. Uh, Wamalwa, for graciously welcoming me and uh, the rest of the team to the defense headquarters. And on the onset, I want to thank His Excellency the President and the Commander-in-Chief for the great honor to appoint me as the defense C.S. And I want to assure him and the country at large of my full commitment in achieving the duties and responsibilities of this office. I also want to thank the CDF and the entire KDF fraternity for their warm welcome and reception they have accorded to me, not only today, but the day just before my vetting. And I am sure with their good contribution, I did very well on my vetting day. I wish to state it that I will always consult and get the wise counsel from the top leadership of KDF on handling key issues related to my mandate, and I expect a smooth working relationship during my tenure as a CS. I also want to thank the outgoing CS of defense, my brother Eugene Wamalwa, for his wise counsel before and this morning, as well as his dedication and commitment in serving this country before me, like many, many other ministers. In accordance with Article 231, sub Article 3A, B, and C, we shall defend and protect our sovereignty and territorial integrity of our country. We shall assist and cooperate with other authorities in situation of emergency and disaster of what we are, our KDF is doing uh, during this time of the drought. And we shall deploy troops to restore peace and order in any part of the country affected by unrest or instability, and more fundamentally, with the approval of the National Assembly. During my period of work and service at the CS Defense, I wish to highlight that the following will be my main focus of areas. One, my commitment towards continuous KDF modernization and force readiness that guarantees the territorial integrity of our borders from external threats and challenges. And as a CS defense, I believe our force were involved in military operations within our country and in peacekeeping missions must be equipped with the necessary and adequate fighting tools and materials to enable them achieve their mission effectively. Number two, I will participate with the leadership of KDS, KDF in the full implementation of our national security policy for the Republic of Kenya 2021-2030 in order to maintain our status as an anchor nation in this region. Three, to ensure that KDF maintains and sustains high levels of professionalism, loyalty, trust, integrity, discipline and respect that will help us to project a positive image of the force at all times and our posture. Number four, we pay special attention towards improving the welfare and the well-being of the KDF fraternity. And this is in terms of their condition of service, their housing, their medical schemes, and of course ask parliament for more budgetary allocation and approval. We will commit towards working with our other security forces and organs and in the national administration in maintaining peace and security in our country under the direction of His Excellency the President, 
and the commander in chief, and also who chairs the National Security Council when called upon. Number five, we will be ready and willing to collaborate and work with our regional allies in maintaining peace and stability within our neighborhood. And finally, we will retreat and support Kenyans' readiness to work with our international partners and allies in maintaining the global peace and security that we require. KDF and the Kenya Defense Forces, for that matter, is a very force that we are all proud of. I have been a leader of majority. I participated in the, in the formulation and the enactment of the KDF Act. I participated in many of their policies and budgetary. So I'm coming to the Ministry of Defense with a lot of information, a lot of network as a former majority leader. And I want to ask everybody, both the civilian and our main forces, that we at all times work towards making Kenya Defense Forces better day by day. We want to pray for all those who sacrificed their life on the line in defending our nation. We want to make sure that those who got injured at the battle get well off. We create more well wellness centers, more rehabilitation centers, that even those who are among us uh, have challenges. KDF is part of it. We have already improved our health care within the forces, and now I think we will make sure that the National Treasury puts more resources in the modernization of our Kenyan forces and KDF in general. Mtazamaji huyo ni Aden Dwale ambaye ni waziri mpya wa ulinzi akizungumza katika makao makuu ya jeshi pale baada ya kuchukua hatamu za uongozi kutoka kwake alikuwa waziri wa ulinzi bwana Eugene Wamalo na hivyo basi ndio serikali ya Kenya kwanza na mawaziri wapya ambao watakuwa na keti katika baraza la mawaziri sasa wanaanza kuchukua hatamu zao za uongozi hasa kuanzia siku ya leo mtazamaji wengi wako nachukua hizo nafasi leo wako nakabidhiwa vijiti na nafasi hizo katika ofisi zao mpya kuchukua majukumu yao kama mawaziri katika serikali ya Kenya kwanza. Lakini leo ni siku ya sera siasa na uongozi bila shaka kama nilivyokufahamisha na kwamba ndani ya studio ina wageni wangu wawili ambaye wa kwanza ni Majimbo Kalasinga mbunge wa Kabuchai ambaye ni wa muungano wa Kenya kwanza na vile vile Rafael Wanjala ambaye ni mbunge wa Budalangi na yuko katika upande wa Azimio One Kenya. Tunazungumzia masuala mbalimbali muhimu na katika ulingo wa siasa na kitaifa. 